I think my major fears might be medical. Uh -huh. uh, afraid of stroke, heart attack, you know, the, the unexpected things, uh, aneurysm. I mean, things that come out of nowhere and sort of knock you out or kill you or whatever. Those things are always sort of in the back of my mind. I know uh, a couple of years ago, I, I was feeling hot and then cold and I just thought like, oh, something terrible is happening. I've got to get to an emergency room. And, and it was really smart that I did. Yeah. Um, but I know that part of that is just uh, my fear that something medical will happen. I fractured my skull when I was uh, in the sixth grade. Oh, wow. And I remember the doctor said, you'll always have to be very careful of brain tumors. So that's always sort of in the back of my mind and it's always a fear. I mean, and I guess it's all fear of dying. Right, right. And do you feel like that fear has changed as you've gotten older? So even though maybe staying in the medical realm, but different types of medical things happening as you have, have gotten older or just basically any sort of body type of, of injury or illness? Well, no, I think that as you get older, you realize there are more things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are more terrible things that can happen to you. So they've probably increased. Um, but I think you also become more aware of your own growing frailness and feebleness and all of that and forgetfulness. And, you know, as you grow older, you're not as strong. So yeah. it, it's scary. It's, yeah, yeah that, I, I think that's those are a lot of my fears. I, I can't say that, you know, I have any sort of ghost fears or anything mm -hmm. like that. I know that uh, as far as like nightmares are concerned, uh, oh, there's sort of like uh, water and uh, small ripples that grow into bigger waves and there's sort of, you know, a growing sort of chaos. Um, I, I've had those sort of dreams all of my life. Yeah. And, oh. you know, and th that, that can be scary. Yeah. Um, they're, they're sort of abstract, mm -hmm. but it's definitely water. Yeah. You know, it's like an ocean. Right, right. Um, usually without any sort of something to grab onto. I don't know, you know, where that comes from, but uh, I do know that that's... Uh, uh, something that I've been aware of since I was a kid that uh, yeah, I know that uh, I knew a woman in South Carolina who one time said I she said I know that there's people who enjoy losing control mm -hmm. and You are not one of those people mm -hmm. and I know that that is a fear too. Yes, the fear of just losing control and yeah, you know um, And that might be part of this waking up on a gurney and not knowing where I am and everything I'm, I'm not in control right. I, I like to be in control and when you start to lose that and that may be the sort of sort of floating in water kind of thing. You're losing control. Things right. are getting out of control. Chaos. Because um, I know that I also dream a lot about, I, I'm very deadline driven and for my work. Mm -hmm. And I dream a lot about my work and about not making the deadline. That's a big fear. And that's, do you feel like you, what would it feel like working without a deadline? Would that make you very uncomfortable? You know, if someone know. said, you can take as long as you want. That would be heaven. ideal. That might be heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I would take a lot of time. <laughs>